just an old empty bottle It's staring back at me Used to be Right, hi there, welcome back Okay, now for midweek fun and games I've got to make this, which is all now nice and dry Thick, beef and virtually weightless I've got to make it into a part that I'd be proud to bolt onto the bike and add to the other bodywork. And the question to mull over in my head today is once this is ready to be painted, do I paint it black to match the frame? Or do I paint it silver and thence from there on into body color to match the rest of the bodywork? Don't know. What do you think? Let's get on with it. Welcome back. There we are, story so far. Um, at three layers thick of fully saturated fiberglass, this thing was about four millimeters thick in places. And because I'd layered it up with resin to make it really, really saturated and wet, it was quite wobbly and knobbly on the front. And the initial thought was to just fill all that with filler, big skin over it and then sand it flat, but it would have just made it heavy. All I've done instead is because I've got the luxury of that thickness is I've just ground it flat with the wee sander, which is awesome including, which was really going to be a challenge by hand, that flat sheet along there and underneath, which will be the mating surface with the swing arm, uh, which is challenging because it's got a little notch in the middle I've got to deal with next. But there we are, all that needs now is a wee bit of Dynaglaze and sanding and things. But first, it's got a little notch because that ain't going to fit right down in its position yet.
Right, this is a bit I've been deliberating over whether to drill the actual swing arm itself and I think it'll be fine to do that. Um, don't know how thick this section is, it looks cast. And when I replaced the swing arm bearings, I could see through the, the actual swing arm bearing hole, I could see down inside and this is seriously chunky inside. So I don't know how thick it is, what I'm about to drill into, but at these two points on the outside, I'm quite close to the corner. I'm going to go M6, just 6mm thread, no more. So because I'm quite close to the corner, I might be drilling into almost solid metal, which is okay, that's absolutely fine, but I don't know. I'll keep an eye on it, drill them gently. They're aluminium, so it should drill nice and soft, and then I'll cut an M6 thread in, and we'll see how we go. Once I can get it test fitted, and it all fits, then I can paint it. So here we go. Precautions. Wish me luck. Right, there we are. That's two wet coats on top of a tack coat. Um, if you're gonna do this, if you can use this, that's the Simonized Tough Paint that I've used practically for the whole bike. Um, it's not like normal paint. It is a soft, chip-resistant paint that you would put on bumpers and chassis and crash bars and roll bars and that sort of thing. I absolutely love it because it's really forgiving. I've dropped, I've dropped tools on this and fasteners and all sorts on the finished paint and it just bounces off, no marks, so I like it. But there's a little trick and that is not to lay out too much. I found that really early on. Normally with any paintwork you would do six wet coats and let it float out completely and hopefully get an almost perfect finish that you can just 1200 paper and polish. But with this stuff that would cause problems. It would be too much. It's extremely heavy paint and it would sag and run quite quickly. I found the best solution is literally like I've done. Two good wet coats so it floats out completely and leave it. That's it. Otherwise, it would take about three months to dry, and I'm not exaggerating with that, it really does. It's still fingernailing in sort of 10 weeks' time. But this now, two wet coats, that will be dry in 48 hours, and I'll be able to maul it about, put it on the bike, and then move on to the next bit. Right. So let's get cleared up. Let's take something on the board. All 
Right, here we are. Another one done. Uh, just another little tip for you. If you're doing paint work in your own garage, I learned this a long time ago, don't sweep the floor. It's nice to sweep up. It's nice to clear up your garage after you've done a job on painting and so on. But honestly, this place is filthy right now, but never sweep up when you've got wet paint hanging around. I think you can work out why. Yeah, I think I'll leave that one to hang. Right, okay, so that's not 100%, but then it's got a little fish eye in it, a little bit of trash the other side, but then none of the body works 100% because once this is all put together, it's out on the road, and I've at least had all the teething troubles done, got the MOT and that, then we'll get the Max Star down to do a custom paint job on it. And goodness knows what, I do not know yet what we're gonna paint it, I just wanna get everything done first. Get it all out on the road and then that's that bike finished, tick. I wanna move on and do something else and I think a few of you are feeling the same way. Now, there's a couple of you saying, what's next? Now this is getting to this stage in itself, in the build, a few of you saying, what's next? What we're gonna do after this? Well, I don't know, not long term, but short term, I wasn't gonna share this because I'm not sure it's gonna come off yet, but I think it's gonna be exciting if it can. I've got a lead possibly on somebody who's had a bike, a very rare, very rare sports bike, laid up for about two and a half years, just done absolutely nothing, it's just been stood there in storage, and he wants it put back on the road. He wants it running, wants all the brakes relined, wants all the calipers rebuilt and fork seals, you know, all the usual stuff that I did for this thing when I first got it. So it'll be a short build, no customization, possibly some improvisation to make some upgrades to it, but it'll be a, I don't even know if it's exactly the bike I think it is, but it's a very rare Suzuki sports bike. And if I can get it here, it will be not my bike, but it will be a short term series of videos that I think will be quite exciting, quite interesting, and be a real diverse difference from this thing time and time again, over and over, and something that you can enjoy. And hopefully it will teach me a little bit at the same time, because I like learning from what I do here. So there we are. That's it for now, 48 hours. That will be bolted on as the first bit of the next video. Then I can underline it, tick, move on. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, ride safe. Enjoy yourselves in the summer. See you next time.